Bonjour, Miss Go Nango Quay Indigenous Cause, Mikazi and Dodem. It's a connection and a snowback, Minawa Guli Zibi and Donjaba, Ojibwe and a snowback Quay and Dow. Hi, I'm Joanne Robertson and I'm the writer and illustrator of The Water Walker. And my communities are Algoma, um, Whitefish Lake First Nation by Sudbury, and Essex County. And the water holds all our stories, it holds images things on the earth that depend on every other living thing to survive. And we've forgotten that. I lost all my culture, I lost my language. I lost all of that. It hasn't been until as an adult and gaining that back. I want to share like about clans, about water, about Sema. Water's alive and it has a spirit and a lot of grandmothers are fighting to get lakes and rivers personhood. And that seems like an odd thing for lots of Canadians to think about a river having a spirit and being alive and needing rights. And I was the coordinator for the water walks. That's how I was able to write the story for Grandma Josephine. She had a big influence on my life, for sure. She made all of us promise on her deathbed, keep doing your work, and we all promised. The water walker I drew before I wrote. You know, I drew the stories. Well, the purpose of the water walker was all those promises I made to the walkers and the water walkers in 2011 to remember what they did for the water so that their future generations would know they made an effort to change things. It's important for our kids to know these people because it's a lot of work changing hearts and minds. So by doing, you know, walking or like myself writing a book about the work that they're doing, it hopefully inspires because everyone has to get on board with it. We're all born of water. We all need water for life. We're all made of water. Like an arrow, his words pierced Nokomis's heart. She looked around. She saw how people were disrespecting the water, wasting it, making it unfit for life. I'd like to spend more time with kids telling their stories. And I know how to say it. I swap an way. Oh, how? I don't know how to say it. <laughs> cool. Having an identity will just make them even stronger. Our stories are everything, right? And water holds all our stories. It's our responsibility to nurture the relationships with all life. And by honoring water, and knowing that everything that's living needs water, that's a good way to do that. It's not our right to water. It's our responsibility to take care of water for every living thing, not just for us.